when teaching throwing techniques, teach your beginners to do it initially in a static or non-moving situation. And then as soon as you possibly can, progress that technique to a moving situation. Now, this really keeps in, in, in mind of, I like to add layers to a technique, to, to, to teaching, to uh, um, you know, progressing from, from point A to point B and then further. So you want to teach the basic movements of a throwing technique when the students are standing still. It's, a, it's the perfect situation. Uh, it's a cooperating, total cooperating partner. Uh, it's a non-threatening environment. Uh, there, there are not a lot of moving parts to it. It's just they're standing still. Opening stance as this my right foot's between his stance because I'm that's my pivot foot, my lead leg. Okay, right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop him up. And when I pop up, I'll look and look at the back of my hand so and turn my head because that turns my body. Right, so I pop him up like this. See this? All right, so let's turn there. pop him up. And as you notice with this hand, I pop him up too, both hands. Him with the sleeve. And when I grab the sleeve, grab between his elbow and his shoulder on about his triceps area. Don't grab too low because you have too long of a grip now. You want a little shorter grip up here. Okay? Right. And with this hand, I'm going to pop him up just like, like this. Okay? Right. So pop him up. I see my right foot here. Now watch my hands. I'm going to keep pulling with my left hand, licking at the back of my hand. But with my right hand, I'm going to make a fist. Okay? And I'm going to hook under here. I'm not going to put him over my shoulder. I'm going to hook my arm right in here and pull his shoulder to my shoulder. See that? Okay. So imagine if I'm actually doing it, I'll pop like this. See how that shoulder's there and real tight? And I keep pulling. Now watch what I do. I keep my elbow or my fist straight up in the air, my elbow straight down to the ground. And I turn around and I'm in position. See how my knees are pointed to the left, my butt slides to the right? Okay. Awesome. Up. Now look, see how it looks here? Perfect. You pop him up here. Right hand, he's going to hook under. Super tight. Okay. He's going to turn around. Now look how his feet are, his knees to the left, his butt's to the right side. Right there. Right. Yeah, we're just, one. We're just going to lift. Right? Yeah, just yeah. lift. Just lift. Do, do five, then we'll throw on six. Good. Come back out. Do two. So much of it, that's right. Okay, number four. Waist in and you just come right there. Okay, good. There you go. One. And each place is going to make it a little easier. They're not, I'm not doing it. Work on a bigger guy. Last one, number six, you're going to throw. And six, throw. Here's your throw. I don't And as the students develop this basic level of skill with a technique, with a cooperative partner in a standing still situation, progress to the next level and teach the technique in a moving situation and do this as soon as possible, preferably within the same practice session. Now, often what I found is, is using a yumiashi, the normal walking movement pattern, forward and back in a straight line. And that's ideal for doing this. Uh, I may, may teach as an example is ukigoshi one of the first throwing techniques that, that I teach to my beginners. And we, we teach the ukigoshi in a, in a non-moving situation where the, the, do all the kazushi, the skuri, uh, all the points of, of picking him up and then executing the throw to, to some degree, the, the kake, but with a student standing still. And that's a good time to, to really teach the very, very fundamental things about that, the kazushi, the, the gripping, everything. Now, as they progress in this skill, and they have some confidence in it. They can they can do it in a in a non-moving situation, and they understand how the, how the technique works. Then you move on and show them how to do it in a, in a straight line, a yumiashi movement pattern. And this again, I like this. You literally teach them to to, to take their opponent, to take their uki, and have him walk into a throw. So it's really important to teach both static, non-moving to start. And as soon as possible, teach in a more realistic fashion of how to move an opponent into the throwing technique. Now, let's take it literally a step further. A lot of time, in fact, most of the time, 
You'll catch him when he's moving. You'll catch him a throw when the guy's stepping. And we can make him step. And one step is all you need. Okay? So we're going to make him step. So this time, when I pull, I'm going to make him step forward with his right foot. And I'm going to pop him up. So, and as I do that, I'm going to step back with my left foot. So I'm, I'm kind of like here. See my position? I'm slightly leaning with my right hip, my right foot. But I'm going to step back like this. Okay? So watch me. Like that. See that? This move. Okay, I'm going to pull here. I'm pulling up. I'm bringing him way up on his toes. Okay? So, step. Now this move, I want to step because I want to have to step, eventually come right in my sayonaki. Now watch Jake. He's going to do some Uchi Komis on sayonaki. Every time he steps, does this look kind of familiar to the other drill we did earlier where you make him step one? Okay, this time he's going to fit in. There you go. Good. Sure.